it be possible to starve oneself to death? For the followers of Jainism living in India, Santara, or voluntary death by fasting, is considered a religious ritual. But who are the Jains? And how can their religious belief lead to this form of death? The Jains are a small religious minority of approximately 4.2 million people residing mainly in India. It is important to note that the Jain religion is neither Hindu nor Buddhist and no creator god is worshipped, as Jains do not believe that a creator is responsible for the existence of the universe. They do believe, however, that those who achieve enlightenment become the gods of Jainism. Jainism emphasizes nonviolence towards all living things and is characterized by the development and adherence to five vows nonviolence, truthfulness, non stealing, celibacy, and non possession. The foundation of Jainism has been traced back as far as the 7th century BC. And Mahavira, though not the founder of Jainism, has been credited with giving Jainism its present-day form. He was born around the year 599 BC into a royal family near what is today Bihar, India. Early in his life, he denounced worldly goods and possessions, including clothes. He devoted most of his teaching, most of his life to teaching, that spiritual freedom is an eternal truth and spent many years spreading this ancient religion. Karma plays a large role in the Jain religion. However, a Jain's view of karma is extremely different than the view that Western cultures hold. In Jainism, karma is believed to be microscopic particles that are present in everything and everywhere and are attracted to the soul. A Jain believes that every action may or may not become karma Negative actions result in negative karma, while positive actions lead to good karma. Karma of any kind surround the soul and can prevent the soul from achieving enlightenment and eternal bliss, the ultimate liberation. This is where the practice of Santhara has its basis. A voluntary death of Santhara, when a giant feels the purpose of his or her life has been served, and the body is no longer able to serve either spiritually or physically. According to Justice Tite Tokel, a scholar with numerous contributions related to the Jain religion, the principle behind this vow is that a follower gives up his body by abstaining from and denying oneself food and drink. The Jains view food and water as containing karma, and as the plant or tree, and even the microorganisms living within the water, are killed by ingestion of these substances, bad karma will inhabit the soul of the follower upon eating and drinking them. The terminal fasting of Santara allows for the purging of old negative karma and prevents the influx of new karma. It is then that the ultimate liberation can be achieved, allowing the soul to live in continual bliss or nirvana, total freedom from birth, death, life, pain, misery. The state of fasting begins gradually. The follower initially initially gives up food and takes liquids only. The liquids consumed are boiled prior to consumption so that the giant will not ingest bad karma. Eventually, the follower gives up all liquids. Even then, death can take several weeks to occur. Some giant centaurs have lasted as long as 87 days, as was the case of a 60-year-old giant monk in 2009. Sansara is viewed by Jains as an act of courage with the death celebrated publicly. Recently, however, Santara has become a human rights debate. Opponents have argued that Santara is a breach of Article 21 of the Indian Constitution, which guarantees the right to life, but not the right to death. Suicide is illegal in India, so the Jain community does not equate this form of death as a suicide, because suicide is emotional, hasty, and most importantly, an act of violence towards oneself. The vow of Santara is taken with the full knowledge and intent of its result and is not made hastily. For these reasons, giants do not consider this a form of suicide. Not only is this act of voluntary starvation a religious belief, 
but now a human rights debate. Is this a religious issue or a serious legal violation? What do you think? Explore this issue for yourself and decide.